Depression is waking up in the morning and not wanting to, to face the day. It is a dark cloud that hangs over, that doesn't go away. I just remember sitting in the chair, a feeling of hopelessness. I'm not going to pull myself out of this one. I've literally had people tell me, I'm in hell. It's really bad, is it? No, Doc. I am literally in hell. I have died. I have gone to hell, and I'm being tortured. It's just so unbelievably painful to watch your child do this, to suffer with this. I really questioned whether or not I would, if she had attempted suicide, if I would have called an ambulance. They really tried basically everything that they had at the time. But medication just did not work for me at all. That's when he brought up the subject of ECT. There's no treatment in psychiatry that is more frightening than electroconvulsive therapy. It's putting electrodes on your head and shooting electricity into your brain. Shock therapy? <laughs> really? I, I just didn't believe that he was actually suggesting that I have ECT. I didn't think it was done anymore. I thought it was like lobotomies. You know, you just don't do it. We had talked with doctors about the fact that if I got depressed again, um, we would consider ECT. I was afraid to do this. If something goes wrong, what happens? The feeling of not knowing something you've never done before, about whether or not it will work about whether you're going to have severe memory losses. I worry about sort of losing this part of my mom, um, and that's really sad and scary. Memory loss is absolutely the most feared and the most common side effect of electric shock treatment. I couldn't remember phone numbers. I couldn't remember my boyfriend's name. There are some long-term memory losses, and it is a trade-off. I think that books and movies have unfairly shaped public perception on what electroconvulsive therapy is. No doctor can tell me how it works in terms of the brain function. Nobody has been able to determine that. They do know in huge percentages of cases of severe depression that this is the only thing that works. This is ultimately what we have to ask with electric shock. Is it a salvation that can get them out of that condition or is it gonna cause them to lose so many memories that it's robbing them of the sense of who they are? I was desperate. This is my only hope.